Tennessee football coach Jeremy Pruitt was introduced during a timeout at the Vols basketball game on Saturday Mike Wilson slash News Sentinel. Tennessee Athletic Director Philip Fulmer, left, introduces new football coach Jeremy Pruitt at a press conference December. 7. Photo, Calvin Mathies slash News Sentinel. David Blackburn was my favorite for the Tennessee Athletic Director's job after the Vols parted company with A.D. Dave Hart. Blackburn was then the athletic director at Chattanooga and also had considerable experience in a variety of athletic administrative jobs at UT. Moreover, he had a great track record for hiring coaches. More, thorough six days leave Philip Fulmer with Jeremy Pruitt as next UT Vols head coach. I didn't think much about former UT football coach Philip Fulmer as a candidate, mainly because he lacked administrative experience. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. My preference didn't matter when UT swooped into Manhattan, Kansas and brought back John Curry as its athletic director. But after last week, I am having second thoughts about how I view the AD job. Maybe university chancellors and presidents should, too. More, cost of University of Tennessee coach search likely will be millions. I don't know how newly hired Jeremy Pruitt will fare as Tennessee's head coach. And I don't know how Fulmer will fare as an athletic director. However, I appreciate the way Fulmer hired a coach. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Just a week earlier, UT Chancellor Beverly Davenport fired Curry and named Fulmer as her new AD. Six days later, he had his coach. It wasn't the coach I expected. Auburn defensive coordinator Kevin Steele is a friend and former coaching colleague of Fulmer's. But Steele didn't get the job. Instead, Fulmer chose an Alabama defensive coordinator over a vol for life. More, two formulas for buyout in Pruitt's deal. Remember, Fulmer is old school when it comes to Tennessee football. And Utt's old school rival is Alabama. Yet Fulmer set the rivalry aside, just like he set his history with Steele aside, and hired the man he thought would do the best job. That was impressive. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. That made me wonder how things would have gone if Tennessee had hired Fulmer as its athletic director instead of Hart in 2011. One thing for sure, he wouldn't have scrapped the Lady Vols name for all sports except women's basketball. He knew the history he appreciated the brand too much. Imagine how much pain that would have spared the Tennessee fan base. Curry later reinstated Lady Vols for all sports. He wasn't as successful in a bewildering coaching search that ended with his firing, rather than a hiring. More, Pruitt's plans for offense, defense echo Alabama's style. Fulmer's coaching search was as simple as one coach hiring another coach. Although it's no longer fashionable to have a former football coach as your athletic director, Wisconsin's Barry Alvarez is a rare exception. And the Badgers are doing okay in football. So is Alabama under Nick Saban, who was hired by former Alabama assistant football coach Mal Moore. And in my 30 years of covering UT football, its best athletic director has been former football coach Doug Dickey.